Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for your mid monthly. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me or you would like to learn about your life purpose using astrology, human design, and numerology, all the information is in the description box below. If you'd like to take my six week long, tarot course which also includes psychic protection and psychic development all the information is in the description box below all right so let's jump right in here so first we're going to talk about love then we're going to talk about career and finance and then we're going to talk about what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation virgo and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in all right so it's gonna have my virgo's romantic love life Give me nine cards for my Virgo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Virgo's Career and Finance. For now until the end of May. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look. All right. Oh my goodness, we're starting out with the Ten of Cups energy. So there is somebody around you, Virgo, that's looking at you like, okay, let's work on this, let's build something. I really see a future with you. We can have long-term happiness. There's really some great signs here. So this is happening at the beginning here. It's coming up soon. There's a sense of accomplishment here and you're really happy about what's going on so far. Coming up here in your romantic love life. Let's just move this up here. And the bottom of the deck, it shows working really building something, paying attention to some details here with the Eight of Pentacles energy. There could be somebody that you're involved with at work, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Let's get more information here, Virgo. What's gonna happen, Virgo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Virgo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Virgo's career and finance. For now until the end of May. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, so I see that yes, you guys, there's a positive turn of events coming up for your romantic love life. That's really good news, okay? So I'm gonna use Lenormand, let's clarify even further. What's gonna find Virgo's romantic love life now until the end of May? Give me nine cards for that and give me nine cards for my Virgo's career and finance for now until the end of May. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, Virgos, let's take a look here. Okay, I can see that there's some decisions coming up here. There's a crossroads here, decisions that you're gonna have to make. You've come to some kind of crossroads and you're like, okay, let's see what direction we're gonna go into. Two and two is four, four represents a sense of stability, stableness. So there's like a lot of long-term planning going on here and these choices that are coming up. Even though there's some indecisions around this situation, it seems like there's a sense of long-term happiness coming up for you guys. Okay, so what's gonna be my Virgo's romantic love life now until the end of May? Show me cards you need to see, show me cards I need to see. So there's this waiting around to see how things are gonna play out, giving it time. I see that there is this a lot of energy coming towards you, a lot of communication going on about this letter, message, document, paperwork. Someone has strong interest in you. We see the eyeballs are on you. And I see that there is this worries or self-doubt here, okay, with the stress card energy. But Virgo, the blessings are coming in. It's, it's, it's your time, Virgo. Divine timing is here. The blessings are here. This is ruled by Jupiter. Remember, Jupiter just went into Taurus. So we see that there's a message coming in that you have been waiting for. Oh, <laughs> this rose represents the fact that your person finds you very attractive, okay? All right, so, and I see this isolation, this separation. Some of you may be dealing with isolation or separation or single and available to pursue, okay? So I see so far there's long-term happiness coming in. There's the blessings of this good timing for you guys and some decisions are being made uh, going forward because of a lot of great things coming in for you guys. And you also are getting really looked at, uh, noticed, 
okay? People are finding you very attractive. So it does seem like you could also have your pick of who you wanted to be with coming up here. Okay, so what's going to happen Virgo's romantic love life for now until the end of May? Show my cards need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So I see something shocking and surprising, Virgo. Oh, yeah. Definitely someone is feeling like, okay, there's some options. There's some jealousy going on here, okay, about some kind of friendship, hanging out, okay. So obviously, again, there's there could be more than one choice, all right, because friendship can represent more than one person around the situation, okay. So it does seem like, though, coming up, you guys are like, you got a lot of options, as I, sh I sh showed you. There is somebody that's coming around here that's like, hey, Virgo, you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to deal with it, like coming up. Uh, but Four of Cups can talk about a sense of boredom with the options that you have or uh, concerned about missing an opportunity. Four of Cups energy. So going further. There is definitely someone approaching you like, hey, I want to be there for you. I want to help you out. Single and available to pursue. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a separation, okay? And although, even though there's this separation, it seems like there's a mending going on between you and this person, but then there's also the sense of options that are opening up for you guys. And, you know, people are aware that what's going on with your situation, I feel like. We see there's someone who's strongly missing you. And, um... There is some things going on, as I said, between the lines here, okay? Uh, I see that you guys are about to get some clarity. It looks like there was some, like, some issues because, you know, there's a little storm cloud there. And uh, something has cleared up. And uh, it does seem like there's, you're going to get the answers that you finally have been looking for here in this situation when it comes to this ending. I see that there is some kind of moving or travel here for you guys. And I see money and finance involved with this situation. And let's go further here. Yeah, again, we see someone is watching you from afar or there's some reminiscing or some spying going on here when it comes to you. Yep, High Priestess talks about some kind of secrets. Something that your intuition is telling you about a situation. Yep, Child Card can represent a new person here. Yeah, someone's coming in as a new person. Okay, you do have a lot going on because you have more than one option, that's for sure. Okay, you're doing a lot of soul searching about this situation. Uh, when it comes to isolation, separation, single and available to pursue. Okay, so shock and surprise about the sense of jealousy over a friendship, okay? So what I feel like what's going on is you have a separation. Some of you guys, I know it's a very specific personalized message, okay, coming up here. But I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a separation. It just has a lot of single and available separation kind of cards going on. And then we also have that ending around there. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going through a separation with your person. And, um, but then, you know, you're hanging out. You, you, you have somebody that, that's interested. But your other person that you're separated from or you're having issues with is getting jealous about it. And there's in between lines and some kind of spying going on about when you're by yourself. <laughs> okay, very complex situation. You guys know your situation though, because you can see waiting around, we see missing you, stressing about this money finance situation. By yourself, alone, single available to pursue, separation, isolation, lots of soul searching going on. And we see that someone's really heartbroken and sad over you. Like they're crying over you, they're upset. And we see that you guys are having a good time you know you're socializing you're getting out there you're meeting people okay and there's a joyful energy here for you seems like you're dealing with responsibilities here and there's going to be this big massive shock and surprise coming in about somebody who wasn't telling you something holding something back okay so Page of Swords can be something to do with a child, okay? Fresh start, new opportunity, okay? Could be naivete, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, could be a younger Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or you just get new understanding, new perspective, new, uh, you're, you're, there's somebody that could be around you that could be somebody a little bit outside of your wheelhouse. Mm-hmm, okay, it's clarified by friend. 
some friend here. So a friend is, is involved with this situation. There's some concerns about some worries, concerns, or uh, there's concerns about eating away at a situation. We see there's a deep love here. And we see traveling, movement, change, or moving locations here. Someone wasn't being honest about this traveling, this moving locations. Okay, so let's keep going here. I'm going to bring it together so far, Virgo, okay? Shocked and surprised and jealousy. Shocked and, you're shocked and surprised about this person who's jealous of this friendship. And between the lines, there is some spying going on. Okay, it's single and available to pursue. They weren't being honest with you about this travel, this movie, this change, this boundaries. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're going to end the tough cycle here, Ten of Swords energy. We see that there is some traveling movement changes. Uh, long time energy, patience. Cautiousness. There, yep, I told you guys. Legal situation. Yep. That's exactly what I felt. Mm -hmm. I know it's a very personalized message for you guys, but what I feel like the complexities around this situation was very complex reading in the sense that I had the sense that you were dealing with an isolation or separation, but still kind of dealing with that person. And just bringing it together as a summary, you're still dealing with that person. That person still cares for you, loves you feels hurt, but on the same token, there has some, been some issues around money and finance and burdens and responsibility. And uh, as a result, it seems like there's a separation going on and possibly a legal matter being involved. However, you do have uh, a situation where people are noticing you, you do have some options here, and one particular person seems to be around you is a friend that is a strong potential for a love connection. Okay, so, Let's, uh, you may work with this person with the money card coming out too. So Eight of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. So I see this waiting around, missing you, okay? Shocked and surprised about the worry and stress about this money situation, deep love here, isolation, separation, lots of soul searching, cautious, defensive, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing the Britney Spears song, Womanizer, <laughs> okay. Uh, even though, it, it, you know, you can see there's, there's not that type of situation going on, I feel like this person, when the person's around you, feels like, you know, you got a lot of options, okay, basically, you know. Uh, yes, we see some indecisions about this ending. Indecisions and burdens of responsibility, strong people are looking, you're, no, you're getting noticed, okay? There's this travel, this moving here, this causing for stress and worry. Very attractive Virgo. I see someone sees you as a main person. Long time healing energy or um, being patient, seeing how things play out. And you can see also, guys, the child cards there, which represents a new person. Could talk, talk about starting a family. There is somebody around you that's single and available to pursue. And also there's a friend around this, okay? So there you can see receiving something of value worth, all right, positive turn of events, someone single and available to pursue. There's a celebration here. Letter message document about this ending. So there could be the documentation about some kind of uh, papers, divorce papers, okay, for some of you guys. And I see this friend, a message you've been waiting for, new situation, new uh, fresh start, new, be new beginning. Uh, naivete about this moving, this travel, this change, okay? Or new change is coming in. Okay, so you can see literally long-term happiness is coming in, okay, Ten of Cups. Something about the situation you don't want to accept. There's heartache and sadness and communication. You get clarity, answers. This child card can be starting a family, could be younger uh, uh, air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, or you get new perspective, new understanding of this heartache and sadness, okay? There's a blessing coming in for you guys, all right? The timing is aligning for you. There's something about the secret, this unknown, all right? Uh, something about your intuition that's been telling you something about the situation is going to end a tough cycle here, Ten of Swords. So something is going to be accomplished, definitely, and uh, by the end of this, because you got one, two, three tens, three tens, okay? It shows that your romantic love life, whatever's going on, whatever's been like in the air here, like whatever has been like 
held up, stuck, stagnant, it's, it's gonna be released, okay? It sits, it's clearing the air and you're getting clarity also, okay? You're finally getting the clarity. Um, Cause there's this concern of like, this person who hasn't been accepting what's been offered around the situation, you get clarity about this secret, uh, about this heartache and the sadness and new perspective of this. It seems like there's a happy energy and it's like, okay, I'm ending this tough cycle. I'm getting over this. I'm moving forward here. Uh, now you're over this, this hump here. The, the tough part of this, the toughest part of this is now over Virgo. So let's move forward here. Good times are coming in. So no worries. Can I have some advice for my Virgos when it comes to their romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible option for them? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. All right. So this is like for me, like the seven of wands kind of energy, defending your position or a sense of uh, protecting your situation, feeling uh, a sense of... Um, because this person's sitting in a nest and there, we see there's this conversation and you're seeing the higher picture, but you're also kind of like giving yourself a, a break, a rest. And that, and I also feel like with the bird over of this person, it's showing that don't worry, you're protected. Your guardian angels and ancestors got your back. This is a good time for self-reflecting and not in this, this base, fear-based self-reflecting, okay? Because you guys have a lot of great things coming in when it comes to your romantic love life. So, um, don't think the worst, okay? There's big changes coming in for you guys, all right? And again, again, I feel like you guys are not exactly seeing things as of yet, but there is a path here, just keep going. And I see, just give it some, give it some time. And you see how she's holding a balloon? You are about to celebrate, okay? Yep, the next card is saying congratulations on your abundance. You can be at peace now, Virgo, okay? I know that You've been waiting for some type of change. You've been feeling very overwhelmed here with the situation, but just keep focusing on that change. Okay. Because it's coming, all right? Positive change is coming for you guys. So let's now move into your current finance. Okay. So Four Sword shows me you guys have some plans going on, okay? You are getting some advice from somebody or somebody is involved with this plan. You are seeing, spotting some things that you really are like, whoa, okay, this could work for me. This is something I really love. So you're looking ahead to the future and you're like, yeah, this could definitely be something I really love. And you're feeling like, okay, I'm in charge of this because the, the king energy is like, it's kind of like the captain actually, the captain or the emperor. The king is the, the minor of the major of the emperor, okay? For my new readers out there. So when you think about the emperor, think about the king. When you think about the empress, think about the queen, okay? So the empress, minor, emperor, king, okay? Just for my new readers out there so you guys know, all right? All right, so we got this four of swords energy and we see that you guys are thinking and contemplating, you're taking a rest, you're taking a break, you're really thinking about this, contemplating this. It looks like a lot of people are, this one particular person uh, is bringing some advice to you with the Queen of Cups energy. And you're like, yeah, I can, I can take control of this. I can move into a direction that I really love. We see there's something about this commitment, this contract, and a surprise here. And, and you're realizing that this, this what you're gonna move into here long-term is like, I really love this. This is, this is what I've always wanted to do. And I see that you're using your head with the cat card energy. We see something about this letter message document. And look at this, you're getting recognition. There's recognition here. You're getting noticed for what you're doing. You're loving what you're doing and you're also getting noticed for that as well. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so you may be collaborating with someone here. We see that lover's card's coming out. Now collaborations don't have to necessarily mean that it's a traditional partnership. Some of you guys could be getting into a partnership, okay? That's the lover's card does talk about a partnership. Or some of you guys are just making choices that you really love coming up, or you're collaborating with someone to kind of like move things forward in your career and your finance. Because I do see two, two people, they're on the same page, right? Uh, and uh, they're in the same mindset because we've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. And that's how you know that there's the same mindset. It's like both people are kind of doing things that they love and coming together and kind of giving each other like feedback and advice. Okay, so going further, see, I see someone's helping. 
and we see that there's recognition being noticed and going further here. So some of you guys could be moving, could be traveling around here for work here, uh, or just, just really, it has a sense that you're overcoming some obstacles or blockages in your current finance. You're finally seeing the light in the tunnel. There's thoughts and plans here about how to overcome some obstacles, some challenges, and some delays. And it looks like something will go in your favor. Judgment card. So some of you guys could be receiving some kind of legal judgment here, okay? Uh, or a lot of you guys, there is a sense what the direction that you're moving into is, is something that you really love. And it's like a sense of um, fixing a situation that has been an issue with your career in finance. This is a massive change for you guys. And it does look like some of you guys could be working on a book or going to school as well with the book card energy. Because you have this new offer opportunity, Ace of Wands. And there are people interested in bringing you on their team or to a job opportunity here. Because I see you have this offer being presented. And you're getting excited because you're like, wow, this is something I can explore. There's some competition around this situation when it comes to money and finance and sense of stability. But I, I get the sense that you have a lot of friends or you network, you've socialized. Uh, there's a, there's a, you know, people around you here, three of cups energy, which is giving you a lot of attention, recognition. Wow, safe cards coming out, showing me and a decision that will be made. Okay, so, oh wow. Cat card shows me, you guys have been using your head, you've been very strategic. Uh, there's recognition about an opportunity. Yeah, you got noticed and you're getting an opportunity. There's this letter message or document or paperwork that has to get done, which is gonna cause some delays. But I see that there is a strong stability coming in for you guys and recognition and knowledge of uh, a, a decision that you're going to receive, okay? So there is a decision where this decision that you're gonna receive is gonna be shocking and surprising. Mm -hmm. In a good way though, okay? Because the last card is celebration, three of cups energy and attention, okay? So good cards. All right, so we got this commitment, this contract and this masculine energy that's helping you. They're like, you know, you'd be good here. You'd be good here. You, you're surprised, actually. There's thoughts and plans, and we see that there is some competition, or some, maybe even for some of you, if it's not competition, it's self-doubt. Okay, but you're going for something that you really love. And believe it or not, you're also really shocked about the attention you're getting about it. All right, so there's thoughts and plans, and we see that there is this collaboration you have with someone and a potential opportunity, okay, Ace of Wands. Uh, there's advice being given about this travel situation, about overcoming some obstacles, blockages here and exploring this situation. You are taking a leadership role when it comes to things that you love, okay? Something is going in your favor and you're celebrating that with the Three of Cups energy. I definitely think other people are also in your network circle are really uh, noticing you as well. Um, so if anything, if this is competition here, or there's a per particular person, a masculine around this that could be causing some issues, it could be a younger fire sign, okay? If it's, if it, if it's not just self-doubt about you exploring this, okay? It could be a younger fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Virgos when it comes to their career in finance for the highest, best, good, for the best, 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 Now until the end of May. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. All right, so again, telling you like the Hermit card energy, do some self-reflecting. Oh, wow, something's growing here. We got the Empress coming out. Having faith it's gonna be okay. Yep, you're about to have a sense of peace. Take a leadership role around this situation. Congratulations on your abundance. You're gonna get exactly what you want, Virgo. Okay, you're gonna get, fulfill your dreams on this situation. All right, so let me change up camera views here. And let's talk about what you need to know spiritually that you don't know they need to know could help you, Virgo. 
What does Virgo need to know spiritually that they don't know, that they need to know that could help them spiritually? Now until the end of May, show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. C. All right, Virgo. It's saying when it comes to your challenges, you will reap the rewards. So you're going to reap with some rewards here from the challenges that you've been dealing with, okay? What did I see for your romantic love life? It showed that the blessings are coming. Even your current finance, it shows blessings that are coming in for you guys. You're going to be able to, things are just moving in your favor in general here. And it's letting you know that it's in, when we get into a space of, you know, just expecting, you know, things to be delays and blockages and obstacles, it, it's we get in that mindset of like, oh, it's just going to be another thing. Oh, this, this is going to happen. Oh, the shoe, you know, you've heard those things. The shoe is going to drop. Oh God. Da, da, da. Okay, so get yourself out of that negative mindset because this is your period of abundance. Okay, so um, know that it's coming. Okay. Yep, it's telling me a rebirth for you guys. And uh, you are about to ignite. Okay, so shine bright like a diamond, Virgo. <laughs> it's time. It's, it's your time. All right. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. I think for you guys, though, in the comments below, I want to see who made it to the end of the video, okay? Because, guys, this is a blessing for you guys coming up, all right? So put blessed in the comments below. Let's see who resonates with this message and who's ready to receive their blessings. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.